this video, I'm going to teach you how to treat your honeybees with oxalic acid using the ProVap 110 oxalic acid vaporizer. Coming up. Here's what I have for the uh, oxalic acid treatment for the bees. I have uh, up in, in the upper left hand corner, I have a full face mask with uh, organic acid cartridges. I have the ProVap. 110, which is an oxalic acid sublimator. I have a Duralast inverter connected to a 450 amp hour solar battery. I have an extra power cord and some goat skin gloves. And of course, oxalic acid and some measuring things. And we're going to treat the bees. Here's a quick demonstration of how easy it is to put on the uh, 3M full face mask organic acid vapor cartridges. Um, I really like this mask. Put it on, get it adjusted, pull the two tabs on the bottom to seal it to your face, test it to make sure it's sealed, and you're done. And if you've ever tried other respirators, you know that they're, you got to mess with all the other straps. And here, just undo these two on the bottom, pull it off, there's two tabs you pull on, and you're off. Here's a demonstration of how the uh, bee suit will fit over the full face mask. Um, this particular bee suit that I have has probably one of the smaller head pieces and it still fits in there just fine. You can zip it, seal it, and uh, this is the way I like to use it. If there's a lot of bees flying around when you're treating, um, then you're going to need a bee suit. If you want to do it in the winter time, there's not a lot of bees and you probably won't need the suit, but it does fit in here just fine. And uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that. This is a demonstration of the ProVap 110, showing you how quickly it will uh, sublimate the oxalic acid, putting it in there, turning it over, tapping on the top, and Im immediately it starts to uh, sublimate the acid. You can see how quickly uh, the vapors come out and uh, will fill your hive cavity. It typically takes about 20 to 25 seconds for this device to uh, sublimate all of the uh, oxalic acid. And um, toward the end here, what's happening is you had a little bit uh, vapors coming out, but now this device is actually coming back up to temperature. So it uh, comes up really quickly to about 235 degrees C, and then you're ready for the next uh, hive treatment right there. Before we can begin treating the beehives with oxalic acid, I need to drill a quarter inch hole in the back of the bottom board so that I can insert the ProVap 110. I'll keep this hole sealed with a golf tee, and then I can come back at a later date and treat the hive whenever I like, just by taking out the golf tee and inserting the device. Now we're ready to uh, actually treat uh, a hive. As you can see, I have my setup here with the uh, cart, and I have my battery and my inverter just off camera and then that device is uh, the ProVap 110 is plugged in to that and it is up to temperature 235 degrees C it takes about two minutes to get up to temperature and I'm going to uh, measure out the uh, eighth uh, teaspoon here for uh, treatment that's the amount that uh, is used to treat uh, the nucleus colony that's why there's two golf tees in the back of this and I drilled two holes because these are side-by-side -side nucleus colonies with the golf tee and all you do is uh, take the ProVap, push it down onto the uh, plastic top there, insert it and turn it upright, give it a little tap to make sure all of the acid goes down and you can see immediately just like in my demonstration start treating your hive and uh, this is a very quick way to treat your hives. Um, I have a lot of hives and I don't have time to wait four, five, six minutes for each hive, open them up in the front, stick all those other kinds of devices in. And for me, this just works quicker. And so here we are. It's done. It's coming back up to temperature. This is when I first was doing it, so I waited longer than I needed to, but I could have pulled it out already. And uh, you get the hang of it. See, nothing else is coming out. And uh, you can move pretty quickly through these and uh, 
do the same thing to the next one. And if you have uh, a real lot of hives, you can have a second person getting your little dosages ready for you. You can even buy additional uh, cups from uh, Oxabap and have extra ones. And go along the line, I've seen videos of people doing, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hives, and they just have the cups, so a cups, and a guy doing it in front of them. And this guy just comes along with this device and treats them. And uh, like I said, I really like this because it's a uh, it really goes quickly and then uh, you don't have to come back to these hives until later in the season if you want to check them they're done these were actually um, three pound packages that I installed in these nucleus colonies and this is probably about day eight or nine so they haven't sealed the brood yet and I'm treating them to make sure that I didn't get any mites when I purchased the packages and I don't want to bring any mites into my apiary so I'm treating them Here's a demonstration of the same exact process from the front. As you can see, um, there's the cart with the battery and the inverter, and I just pull it along behind my hives. And I didn't even seal the front entrances. Um, some people do that because you do lose some, but I have a very small entrances on these uh, nucleus colonies, and they were bringing in lots of pollen, even on this chilly day in April. So I decided uh, not to close them and just go for it. And uh, seem to work just fine as I said this was April 2018 I'm putting this video up in February and so far I have had a hundred percent of my hives survive until February we still have a little ways to go through winter but uh, I'd say that's a good sign I've never had a hundred percent hive success in the February and I've been doing this 10 years um, this device is pretty amazing and uh, do the same thing with different devices, but uh, I enjoyed using this. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.